Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can speed up your laptop. I'm hoping that this saves you money like it saved me. I was just about to go out and buy a new laptop. My laptop was so slow. What would happen is if I go into my task manager, this disk area was permanently on 100%. It was just consistent. It wouldn't go down from there. And subsequently, my it would just slow down. Everything would slow down. Things wouldn't load. It would take ages to load. It would take ages to respond. Non-responding pages. All of that nonsense. Um, so I went through YouTube, as you do, and looked through a lot of places to see how people can help me. I, I, I got through a lot of videos, but after doing all of those things it still didn't help some of it reduced it a bit but it didn't reduce it significantly it didn't reduce it significantly so um, I've just put together everything that I found out and the bits that I couldn't find anywhere on the internet and I've put it here so that you can save your money and not go out there and buy a new laptop right the first thing what you have to do which is kind of really um, a no-brainer but a lot of people don't do it uh, go to your desktop not your desktop your computer hard drive as you can see it's blue but when I started my hard drive was red that means there's too much on your hard drive so just get things off your hard drive that you don't need just do some spring cleaning so do some spring cleaning what I done is I got a an, an external hard drive and I placed whatever I did need onto an external hard drive. You can plug it into your USB on your laptop. It frees up a lot of space. Um, and also get rid of stuff that you don't want. Just stuff like clear, non-used non software, stuff that you haven't used for ages. You can all, always pull it back if you need it, but get rid of it if it, does, if it doesn't be, if it hasn't been used for a while, just remove it from your laptop and clear old data just delete the data stuff you don't need delete it get it off your hard drive that's very important it kind of nimbles it up another thing is your your desktop the actual desktop itself this part here get as much stuff off your desktop as possible remove it pull it in files do what you have to do but just get it away from your desktop it's almost it's, 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 it's weird but it does make a lot of difference that does so getting those things out of the way to before you even start any technicalities do all of that stuff right um, to uh, to speed up the right click because what I was getting is a problem here when I press the right click this wouldn't even come up it will take a long time but look it comes up very quickly now it will take ages to come up and it was very very frustrating just to do little minor things so uh, to do that go into your run just remove this again go to run uh, just at the bottom right here where is it sometimes this doesn't come up when I've got the, the camp anyway just click run from here run yeah and then this will come up your run dialog box in there I've already typed it but it's miss uh, ms config and then press ok oh, I must have spelled it wrong ms config right in here I'll go to services go to your services and go down to n we want NVIDIA so just press N on your keyboard, it would go down to the end section. I've already done it, but if you have NVIDIA on your machine, take untick NVIDIA display container LS and NVIDIA update service daemon. Unclick them and press apply. That's one section, you've done that, so that's okay. 
Now you can check your task manager, restart your machine, check your task manager and see if it makes a significant difference. As you can see, I'm still on a low. I'm so happy about this. You don't, you don't know how happy I am to see this. I'm telling you, it was always on 100. Anyway, uh, you check there and see if it's made any difference. If not, no problem. Go back to um, go back to that run section. Run. Return. MS config. Okay. This area here. Uh, where is it? Startup. To open task manager to manage startup items. Okay, we've opened task manager already. Startup items here. I have disabled a lot of them. I've only enabled the ones that need to be enabled. A lot of things do not actually need to be there at start at your startup when your machine is starting. So just click the ones that you don't think you need and disable them. Just disable. Disable. I've I've only got a few that I've only left the touchpad. Uh what else have I left? I've left free. These ones are kind of standard on your machine. I've left the standard ones that are on the machine. The ones that come with your software, I've disabled all of them. So if they need to be used, they will prompt me and then I'll use it that way. So that's freed up some space and some time as well. Um, another thing, you go back to task manager, which we're in task manager. If you don't know how to get to task manager, somehow this is not giving me the right click that I want I don't know why but sometimes that happens but go to um, it's control shift escape control shift escape will bring up your task manager so you bring it up and go into your services tab here right and then you will search for something called W search or Windows search. So if we put this in order and then press W and look for Windows search or W search, here it is. I've stopped it. Yeah, so right click it and then obviously it's gonna start here, but press stop if your one is on. I believe that stops indexing. It stops things going on in the background which are unnecessary for you. This is very, very handy. So once you've done that, start your machine again and see what happens. Um, also, while you're here, you can stop, I think it's called super fetch super fetch um, right it's not in this 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 one this is not the services we need we want this services here so you look for super fetch so you press s get down to actually it's not here either it is it should be here let me put this in order Okay, it's not there. Um, yeah, see, this is where it becomes a bit confusing. So we've checked here and checked here, it's not there. Okay, go down to run again. And go into services MSC. Here it is, services.msc. Press OK. another service box comes up see there's three services look there's one there one here and one here and these have to be manipulated to get what you want so we'll go down here press them put them in name order and then look for super fetch which is here see i've disabled my super fetch you can see what it does maintains and improves system performance over time no not really it doesn't so disable it 
we don't need that working because it, it takes too much strain on a computer so disable that right so you just right click it and then stop so that's that you've done so now we've done most of the technical things that you need to do to get it up and running so start your computer what you could do is do everything then start your computer once and for all so you know you've done all of that stuff instead of stopping and restarting it's it's a long job that way right so then go to your disk fragmentation yeah but first we'll go to disk cleanup so type in disk in your uh, prompt there click disk cleanup and then select the drive you want to clean up and just press OK and follow the prompts and just clean your disk that just makes everything cleaner than what it was all these little temp files and stuff you can remove them recycle bin all of that stuff gets off your computer yep and also we go back to our C drive on a computer well just go to back to your windows and type in defrag defrag right and this will come up and then you can optimize and check for system errors on your drives so you just follow the the prompts here click optimize here and it will optimize the drive which is highlighted you really only need to optimize the C drive but you can optimize as many drives as you want and after it's been fragmented then we should be fine but one thing that no one after all of these videos I've watched I went everywhere I've done all of that and it it reduced a bit but it didn't reduce to the fantastic almost zero one percent or whatever I keep showing off where is it again let me show off again there it is look it's on four percent it never no one I could never get it down to that and you know where I had to I found a problem and solved the problem it was with my antivirus can you imagine that my antivirus which you don't even think about let's click on the antivirus and see what happens look how it's gone up significantly just by opening that it will go back down but that what happened is that my Norton antivirus there was a problem with it and it would it it just jammed up my machine permanently it would be just an underlying factor which was just there permanently so what I'd done was I called up Norton antivirus I, I don't know I just I just thought let me just it's got to be something else you see so I called them up let me bring up their number this is their number in in the UK this is United Kingdom this is their contact number if you are a, 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 a Norton subscriber they should be able to do this over the phone what they done is reinstalled Norton and removed some of the bits and pieces were, were which were on the machine apparently it is an underlying issue but they won't tell you that but the way he was talking to me over the phone it it was as if he has a procedure because this has happened many of many many times unfortunately I haven't got a number for the states but they have a chat um, if you go to this website here support.norton.com um, they should give you it's kind of like a chat bot or some sort of chat um, it's some sort of chat area where look, live chat you can chat to them um, and just tell them that you want them to reinstall Norton they will take over your machine and reinstall it for you once they've done that 
it just went down dramatically i couldn't believe my eyes so all of this messing and tampering around and it's the norton it could be your other anti uh, other antivirus as well so check the antivirus is very very important it's very significant and it's very memory hungry as well and disk hungry it takes a lot from your machine without you even thinking it does um so once you've done that once that's done once they've done it and they've completed that and you've seen uh this done if they do not do it do this yourself so you'll go to run again run you can get to that by Windows R as well. That's Windows R. Right, let me just close that to show you Windows R. You can get to it by Windows R. Now, you will type in percentage temp percentage and press OK and just you can highlight all of this and remove it just highlight it and delete it all that can go you don't need it it's temporary files but significantly you would take your norton the norton temporary files which were there from the old norton and also control i mean windows r you would go to percentage program data percentage press ok and then you take your Norton see this file here you take that off no so you take the Norton installer off because you wouldn't need that and that's it your your machine should be fine this I've missed out a few things but this is what helped me this is the procedure I took and it worked for me. There's other things that you can do. Um, restore the virtual memory to its original recommended dosage or whatever. There's, a, there's, there's things, there's other things that I tried but they just didn't do anything for me. You can try those too. But this is the procedure that helped me. Um, so I will put some information, I'll try and put some information down in the a description, but hopefully this will help you. I really, really want this to help because it was such a pain and it was such a relief when it, it, it worked because I was literally going to buy a computer, just literally. And the daunting thing was, oh, I have to put all my software back on. I have to, re oh, it was horrible. I just i didn't want to go through all of that messing around i've got everything how i like it it's just slow so i was happy that i was able to do this without having to reinstall and upload and put things and get used to and all of that rubbish i was so so relieved when it happened so i'm hoping this will help you if it does thumbs up if it doesn't ask me some questions i would try and get through and try and sort out your specific need it might be a bit different to this but we'll try and get through it together thank you for watching i really do hope this helps until next time subscribe